Hello and welcome back to your own YouTube channel, Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. India is the seventh largest country in the world, stands apart from the rest of Asia, marked off as it is by mountains and the seas, which give the country a distinct geographical entity. Bounded by the Great Himalayas in the north, it stretches southwards and at the Tropic of Cancer tapers off into the Indian Ocean between the Bay of Bengal on the east and the Arabian Sea on the west. It has a land frontier of about 15,200 km. The total length of the coastline of the mainland Lakshadweep Island and Andaman and Nicobar Island is 7,516 km. India's coastline has always been vulnerable to anti-national activities like smuggling of weapons, explosive, contraband and narcotics as well as infiltration of terrorists. After the 26-11 Mumbai terror attack, coastal security was reviewed by the central government and several new measures were recommended that were to be implemented in a phased manner. Maintaining peace within Indian territorial waters is the responsibility of the Indian Coast Guard. Therefore, it is important to have long-legged coastal missile batteries making our coastline an impregnable sea-facing fortress. DRDO has started working in the similar direction. The DRDO's Dehradun lab is working on the development of coastal and harbor surveillance system. The system being worked upon by Instrument Research and Development Establishment Dehradun will comprise thermal imagers and optical cameras to detect and track targets. The system will consist of thermal imagers and optical cameras to provide requisite inputs for decision making beef of the maritime security. Now let's look into the features of this system. The surveillance system is going to be an all-weather day and night capable and it will be installed at strategic locations along the coastline. It will be helping us in monitoring shipping traffic as well as other seafaring vessels. It will be controlled remotely and will be operated by the Indian Coast Guard. According to DRDO sources, the electro-optical system's detection range is expected to be up to 25 km or more and it should be able to identify a target at a distance of at least 8 km. Besides being able to auto-track multiple targets as small as a 5 meter long boat. A surveillance mechanism comprising of a chain of static sensor having radars, automatic identification system, day-night cameras, and weather sensors at 46 locations along the coastline and island has been established. In addition, there are 34 radar stations for surveillance. The Indian Navy has established four joint operation centers at Mumbai, Visakhapatnam, Kochi, and Port Blair, from which all coastal security operations are coordinated. The Coast Guard teams are also networked with the state police and other agencies such as Intelligence Bureau and Port Authorities. The DRDO surveillance system will boost India's capability to boost its coastal security. With this, I would like to end this video. If you gained some knowledge, please like this video and share this with your friends and family. Thank you. Jai Hind.